Let's get the latest from Al Jazeera's Dalia Hassan Begovic, who joins us from the Bosnian capital, Sarajevo. Uh, a, 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 I mean, a state of emergency in Bosnia. Uh, and I know the whole uh, country is covered in this blanket of snow, but one town, uh, a very famous town, a lot of people know the name, Mostar, under heavy snow, and completely unaccustomed to that kind of weather, Dalia. Uh, yes, Stephen, you're absolutely right. The state of emergency has been declared in one entity of Bosnia and Herzegovina. A second entity has 18 municipalities uh, that declared the state of emergency, and they're expecting the decision if the uh, state of emergency will be declared in the second entity as well. Uh, snow all over the country, as you can see. I'm here in Sarajevo on one of the main roads. Uh, snow all around us. We got more than three feet of snow here uh, and more than seven feet of snow in the mountain areas. But definitely the unprecedented situation situation in the city of Mostar. Uh, none of the people, the, old, the oldest people that live all of their lives in Mostar don't remember this situation. They got 85 centimeters of snow yesterday uh, with a very strong winds which created snow dunes that were actually much taller, much higher than 85 centimeters. Uh, causing a complete disruption uh, to normal life. Even the famous Monster Bridge that the entire world knows uh, was is completely covered in snow. Uh, they're not expecting more snow in that southern part of Bosnia and Herzegovina, but they're uh, forecasting strong winds and sub-freezing temperatures to continue, uh, which uh, is making cleaning the snow uh, very difficult because Indeed. the snow is now uh, turning into ice. Of course, it will be difficult, Steven? especially if it's blowing into drifts, Dahlia. But um, how are people, I mean, kids love this, but uh, old people don't. Um, how, how, how are people keeping warm? Uh, people here, we have in the entire region, uh, we have set the records for the usage of both electricity and gas. Depending on the region and on the city, some people uh, are using electrical radiators, some gas radiators. Uh, so far, good news is that there have been no reductions uh, in both electrical and gas supplies. Uh, even though there is increased consumptions and authorities in Serbia specifically have asked people to be rational in their use. Uh, however, there have been uh, disruptions due to heavy snow uh, and due to winds in power supplies to certain city, uh, specifically to the city of Neum, which is coastal city of Bosnia and Herzegovina that doesn't have snow, that doesn't have electricity, sorry, uh, since last night. God, they must be cold. Dalia, thanks very much for joining us in Sarajevo. Well, the Balkans is one of the region's worst hit by the weather, and Al Jazeera's Dalia Hasanbegovic joins us now from the Bosnian capital, Sarajevo. So, Dalia, tell us, uh, what's the situation like where you are? Uh, yeah, Barbara is starting to snow again as they forecasted and the temperatures again are dropping very low uh, below zero. Uh, we've got uh, between one meter on average and all, uh, more than two, uh, two meters of snow in mountain areas uh, with uh, very strong winds and that blocked a lot of roads in the region, uh, trapping people in remote areas, but trapping people also on the roads and in the tunnels uh, due to a lot of avalanches that uh, were caused uh, by the wind. Uh, the state of emergency has been declared in the majority of Bosnia. Uh, it's very likely that the Serbia will declare a state of emergency on the entire country level. Uh, and this uh, strong, these strong winds and uh, heavy snow uh, cause disruptions in power supply in certain areas. The worst hit is a coastal city of Neum. Uh, people in this city lost complete power supply uh, last night because the power line went down and they're trying to find alternative ways to fix this because otherwise these people will be without electricity for 15 to 20 days. Uh, so just Barbara. tell us uh, briefly, Dalia, what exactly uh, are the regional authorities doing to help the many people that have been trapped? Well, uh, declaring state of emergency is the way they're coping with it. Uh, it helps the authorities to prioritize uh, their services and to mobilize all the available resources to clear the roads, uh, help the people who got trapped and blocked, and deliver the food to those uh, who are trapped in the remote areas that no one can reach to. Uh, in some parts of the region, even army got involved and joined into these efforts in clearing the roads and helping with their helicopters to deliver uh, 
uh, food and medical supplies uh, to these r remote mountain villages, especially ahead of uh, tonight's snow that they are predicting, uh, which shouldn't be as heavy as the ones we've seen, but still is going to create a lot of problems for these people that are cut off from the world. Dalia Asambegovic joining us live from Sarajevo. Thank you, Dalia.